to my channel. My name is Shamika and this is Check the Rhymes. I am super excited about today's show because in the building I have one of my favorite R&B duos. It is Rough Ends. Yes, y'all, David Chance and Dante Jordan are in the house and we're gonna be talking about their fifth studio album called Rebirth. And we're gonna also celebrate their 20th anniversary, which actually was a few months ago, but we're still gonna celebrate it. And we're just gonna catch up, see what they've been up to. So stay tuned because you don't wanna miss today's show. Welcome to Check the Rhymes, Rough Ends. How are y'all? Hey, hey, how you doing? Hey, hey. how Y'all may you? not remember this, but we've met before. Y'all were here in Concord, North Carolina, I think 2016 or 17 for some seafood festival. And I met wow. y'all backstage. Yes, you look very familiar. I was about to say, I look like I haven't seen you before. Yeah, I never forget a face. How <laughs> yes, are you? Yes, I met y'all then. I still have the pictures. I should have brought them with me. But. Exactly. So now you got to post them and tag us in the pictures. I will. I will do that. I will do that. Yes. So I'm excited. Y'all are back with new music. Let's talk about the... Well, first, catch me up. What have y'all been up to um, since... Since I last saw you, obviously you got a new album, but what else you been up to? David? Um, yeah. Um, since then, we, we were uh, featured on a few soundtracks. We had an album called Soul Brothers that we came out with back in, I think, 2017 it was. And um, that was our first, you know, independent album release. We just got back together. We kind of wanted to get, get back in the studio and give our fans something. And um, since then, we've been on... Shots Fired soundtrack with uh, Fox had a, a TV series called Shots Fired. That, that they had. filmed right here in North Carolina. Exactly. You know. <laughs> you already um, know. So we was featured on that soundtrack, which a song called Speak to My Heart. And uh, we were featured on the David Makes Man, another soundtrack that uh, Oprah and Michael B. Jordan wrote a movie, a uh, basically a, a basically a movie, if you will, for the, the old network. And um Really nice, really nice. Kind of reminds me of Shots Fired, almost mm -hmm. this, this, uh, the, the movie. But um, David Makes Man was great. We had a song called Virtuous Woman on that. And, um, you know, touring, you know, working on uh, several different things. Uh, we, we're going to definitely, you'll hear about those things in the future. But, you know, all of that led to us partnering with SRG Universal and uh, this new project called Rebirth. So here we are. Dante, tell me about Rebirth. What, what, well, where, where did the name come from? And then, like, what mm -hmm. can listeners expect? Are we going to get classic rough ends with this album? Classic, I'm going to say classic rough ends with a little bit of classic Dave and Brown, which was rough ends before Dave and Brown. <laughs> Reconnecting with my brother, the rebirth of our relationship, the rebirth of the world with what's going on like it's yeah. rebirth is, is is perfect for so many reasons shout out to claude uh srg um it, it, i think it embodies a lot i think it embodies a lot not just with our album but the, the state of the world right now so you know rebirth the rebirth let me just add that in there claude he mentioned claude claude is the one from srg that actually gave us the name He's actually the CEO over there at SRG. So shout out to the whole family at SRG. Okay. But he thought it would be a great name and it just fit perfect, like Dante said. Right. Yeah, you've already um, got a couple singles out. Um, congratulations. I like that one. Tell mm. me the story behind that. Either oh, one. let me ask you a question. Why do you like that song? Because women, you know, women love that. I don't know what it is about Get that it, song. Dude. Man. Get it. <laughs> Because you're not talking about that same old story again. It's just, it's, it's, listen, I'm, I'm all here for somebody, so for positive congratulations vibes, not like, let's break up. We broke up. You did this. You did that. Like. A negative breakups. Right. Breakups could be positive, basically. They can be. Indeed. I love it. Sometimes you got to close the door so another door can open. Hello. <laughs> So, so congratulations, right? Congratulations, first of all. Um, we blessed enough to have a song that we feel like is definitely going to be a conversation piece. Yes. Congratulations is definitely a conversation piece because it's, 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 it's different levels of realness that the song is about. First of all, you got to be grown to be in a place to congratulate somebody enough to tell them, listen, 
we wasn't right for each other. We had a couple, we had a few things. I, I love you or I care about you or our kids think we right for each other and they get along, it's different stuff. But at the base of it, we're not happy. Are you woman enough or my man enough to, to say, listen, it's not working, you know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? And when you do move on, I can, I can, I can take charge of my feelings because we human, we have feelings and emotions right. to say, listen, congratulations. I'm glad you got what you, what you're looking for. Glad you're happy. You know what I'm saying? We wasn't working out. It was, you know, it, it was God's plan to work mm -hmm. out like, so I'm not going to be bitter. You know what I'm saying? Because some people really need to hear that. Some yeah. people really can't move on in the future until they get a break from the person they probably, you know, still got feelings for in some kind of way. So for a man, it, we felt like it was like, you know, you know, we know we was cutting a little deep, you know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> but, it, but it also, and, and for, for me personally, coming from a space of where I'm in this healing mode, to me, it spoke to me because of that. You know, it's like, okay, I can, I can say we were right for each other, but you know, you go do you, I'm, I'm happy as long as you're happy and I'm going to go over here. So it is, it, it also sparks healing. It makes you think as well. Like, okay, maybe I do need to just go on and congratulate and move on. It's, it's definitely going to be a Indeed. conversation piece. It's definitely going to be a conversation piece. Um, and it's, it's definitely one of our, one of our favorite songs on the album. So, um, yeah. Okay. What about being the one? Body listening, watching, make sure. Treat yourself to some R and B. This yes. is what this is now. We ain't playing around. This is pin to some hot track, to that vibe, to some 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 real thought. This is R and B. So the Rebirth album. Make sure y'all get that. Yeah. Yes. Yes. What about the song "Be the One"? Mm. Be the one. I think Be The One is an another song that just, again, uh, this is an album that we are proud of because this is, is not other writers, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, this is strictly Dave and Brown, you know what I mean? So we're speaking from our own experiences and things like that and things that we want to do, uh, things that we wish to be. And Be The One is one of those songs as a man, when you kind of find the right woman, um, you realize, because it's kind of twofold meanings, you know, you want to be the one for somebody because you like the person, mm -hmm. but then do you want to be the one for somebody because you realize sometimes certain relationships, you, uh, how can I say this? Certain relationships, you realize that I need to grow into the person that I need right. to be, you know what I mean? Like there's some growth that I need to do. And it's kind of have a dual meanings to it, you know what I mean? So Be The One is one of those songs that we just basically saying what it is. I want to be the one that you love. I want to be the only one. And um, it just kind of focuses on a man's desire to be her everything, her whole world. You know what I mean? So we, we, we're just trying to put, like you said, positive messages out there. Yeah. And this time around with this album, um, we usually have the rating P for our, on our albums, uh -huh. like rated P for positive because we want it to be an album that you can play around your kids and your grandmother and still go to the club as well. So right. be the one, as you see, be the one, congratulations, all of them. The whole theme is going to be positive vibes and positive uh, perspectives on the relationship, if you will. I love it. Now y'all been in the game. Y'all just celebrated 20 years, like back in, was it November? Yes, ma'am. So I wanted to celebrate y'all. Mm hmm with this album. Wow. The vinyl, the vinyl, y'all, the vinyl. The vinyl. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, she got the vinyl. She is official oh, right oh, now. Oh, We're oh. gonna sign that vinyl to you for you when we meet you. Yeah, you know what? Soon. And I, I found this vinyl literally right after I met y'all, but y'all had already left, so. <laughs> wow, that's crazy. Yeah, oh, so wow. I wanted to ask you, obviously everybody loves the song No More. I wanted to see what, like, if there's a story behind that that hasn't been told, like, you know, something that you haven't shared with us before. Good, Dante. Recording it or something. Well, it was the last song on the album. I'm gonna let Dante take it over, but how it how it came about was very unique. You know what I mean? Yeah, it was, it, it, there's a lot of story behind No More. No More is... <laughs> I mean, Dave, what do we like? I, 
I need your help on this. It's like, where did mm-hmm. these, this, I mean, the song was recorded three in the morning. Um, Darren Lighty and Eddie F, uh, producers, uh, Cliff and Bilal, Cliff and Bilal do all of that writing for like Jaheen, did stuff for Luther's. Uh, John L. Uh, Jones. Um, the list goes on and on. Yeah. Right. It's, it's, it's so many crazy parts to that. Um, to me, it was the demo. Mm-hmm. You no, know, I went back and forth with the guy who signed us about <laughs> redoing the, the vocals. He look, little little fellow. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, you keep it, you keeping these demos, you keeping these vocals, they perfect. Y'all calling them demos, it's a record. I'm like, but we singing, we doing all of this amazing singing on the album. I'm no, leave it like that. <laughs> so that copy that you hear that's out right now uh-huh. was recorded one time, three yeah. o'clock in the morning. Me personally, I got up off the couch. I was asleep. Got up <laughs> off the couch. Do you, you ready for your vocals? <laughs> I get up. Uh, give me the Latin. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, you want to add? Oh my god, three in the morning. <laughs> so I mean, that's awesome. So, so are you looking back? Are you like, you know what? That was a good decision that he made us put that one out there. Oh, indeed, it definitely was. It was to pick up from where Dante uh, was talk speaking on, on where we were in the album. We were actually done, finished the whole album. Love Crimes was finished. Mm-hmm. So when we got a call to go back and do another, some more recording, it was kind of like. Because by my, let me explain. We got signed in 99. Right. We were recording for about a year of recording. You know what I mean? So we were, Epic was really trying to find our our sound, our vibe. They were putting us with different producers. Mm -hmm. Spent a lot of time in Atlanta, LA, New York, you name it. We were working with a lot of different people. And most of the stuff we did, did never seen the light of day until we got with certain producers and it, the album began to form, you know what right. I mean? So when we, you know, finally got to where we start to see, okay, they feeling everything, this is the album, we're done. Now we got to go back in the studio again. <laughs> like <laughs> we thought we was like, all right, we're done. We're excited. Okay, awesome. Then it was like, I need you to go back and record. And it was Eddie F that we hooked up with. And like Dante said, we did that song 3 a.m. And that was the one when we came to New York that Monday, that following week, mm-hmm. we were I was we were headed down on like a long hallway in, in, in Sony on the Epic building, the Epic floor. It's a long hallway. And as you're walking down the hallway, there's offices along the way. And everybody's playing No More Shopping Sprees. And everybody was coming out in the hallway. Oh, my God, this is it. <laughs> and that that was it. You know, we, we had one. And um, thanks. Big shout out to Dave McPherson from Sony and the whole team at Epic uh, mm-hmm. for, for believing in two boys from Baltimore. Well, I have to ask, like, what is your favorite song off this album? Mm. <sighs> that's that's tough right there. That, <laughs> that's tough as train track nails. Mm-hmm. That's that's tough. I mean, you got shout out, shout out is on that album. Yep. Mm-hmm. Shout out. You got um, saying I love. No, not saying I love you. Saying I love you ain't on there. Yeah, it is. Saying I love you. Uh-huh. Oh my God. <laughs> Saying I love you ain't enough. Needing to be with you is a must. The only thing I love more than you is us. <laughs> Lord have mercy. I forgot all about that. Like yeah. that that's that's yeah. that's uh, a tough one. Missing a- you is one of my favorites. Uh, in Love Crimes, you know, Missing You is a song that we did with Brian Cox. Mike, Brian mm-hmm. Cox is now the big producer over in Atlanta now. You know, he did a lot of stuff with Jermaine Dupri and Jagged Edge and f- so many people now, of course. But uh, when we linked up with Brian, he was just getting started, you know what I mean, as a mm-hmm. producer over there. And um, that, was the, that was the one song that made it because Noontime was actual, it's like a whole like a whole facility, if you will. I don't know if you're familiar with them, but they had a bunch of producers, Jazzy Faye, right. like Teddy Bishop, all of these producers were in this one little place. And Brown was the new kid on the block. 
they, you know, he caught the bus to the studio, you know what I mean? <laughs> and they trying to put us with Brian because we were new. Aaliyah, all different artists, Ashanti was there, mm -hmm. different people coming through the studio. But Brian gave us, did that one record that we fell in love with, you know what I mean? And uh, that's kind of one of my favorites, Missing You. Yeah, I, I like them all. Like one of my favorites is Where Does Love Go From Here? Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Indeed. That's the Clemens Brothers right there, producing. Right. <laughs> yeah, so like now I'm going to have to play this as soon as we finish. I'm going to have to go back and, and throw this on the on the record player. <laughs> Indeed. So you guys, are you going to be doing a virtual concert or get back on the road um, to promote the album? What's next? Both. Indeed. Both is in our, in our future, in our near future. So definitely be looking out for us as far as that. Um, we're looking forward to, to, to reconnecting with the fans in a major way, man. We, we missing the stage like a fat kid missing cake. <laughs> Like it's like man, yeah. it's it's bad. Like it's like man, I done woke up a few times and thought I was backstage somewhere. Like, oh Lord. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Well, we do have a few things that I definitely wanted to mention. Definitely BT Live in the Duncan Lounge. So y'all familiar with Duncan Donuts? We will be on the Duncan Lounge, so definitely look out for that. And the album is coming out April 2nd. Um, we have the video premiering on Vivo when the album comes out. So uh, to be the one, and uh, we're going to be shooting a video to um, congratulations. And our third single, Hopeless, uh, is going to be releasing as well in a few weeks. So we got a lot of videos to shoot and a lot of things to do in the next couple of weeks. But uh, it's all for the fans and all for what we love to do. You know what I mean? For the culture of R&B. Yeah, I'm so glad. I'm so glad. Well, I know we our time is up. Thank you, Dante Jordan, David Chance, Rough Ends for joining me today on Check the Rhymes. You guys got to come back and, and you know, we got to be able to talk a little bit longer and, and so I can get it all in your business. <laughs> hey. Yes, ma'am. I appreciate you again for taking the time and, and wanting to uh, have us on the platform. We People like you keep R&B alive. You know, we're just we're doing our part to, to, to play it in this world of R&B, but platforms like yours keep the whole thing going and we appreciate what you're doing for the culture. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.